Dang. And what is going on everybody? It's me again. We are on our way to the local flea market where I found a lot of good die cast the last time. Um, I'm gonna try to film today. Hopefully people won't get too upset about it. I'm sure I'll ask everybody before I do it or maybe I'll just walk up with my camera. I see other people do it such as Ghost Jerker. That's my main inspiration along with uh, WTF4. I believe that's how you say his name. He's a Canadian diecast collector. Go check out either of their guys, those guys' channels. Um, try not to run that red light, but did it anyway. Um, so yeah, I would love to do what they do and go out to the flea market. Uh, Ghost Jerker, that is. He really films. He, he does his Let's Go Pickin' channel where you go. This is probably what all this traffic is from, is uh, everybody leaving the flea market because it's already 12.31. I'm a little bit behind, definitely a lot behind. I know people get out here five hours earlier than what I'm doing right now, but I had to go cash my check. I ate some breakfast this morning, so we're on our way out there. I'm gonna try to film, see what we can find. There should be a lot of good stuff because there was last time, so I know there will be today. It's Saturday, it's a good day for flea market. Um, I already hit a couple yard sales, nothing yet, so let's do it, man. I'm on my way out there, I'm hype. Let's go have a good time, even just see some cool stuff, so. Let's do it. All right, so we're out here, and as you see, there's gonna be no parking again. This is what happens when you get out here late. You're never gonna find a spot. This is literally a madhouse, just like last week. I mean, look at this. That's the parking lot, and there's the flea market over there, that big building you can see. That's the indoor section anyway. We got this dude over here with his vulgar flags stating his political views and saying F you if you voted for whoever. So, you know what, I'm gonna do the same thing this guy's doing. I'm just gonna park right up here on the grass. Cause I really don't care. This would be fun getting out of here, but let's go ahead and do it. So, I wanna go find some stuff, so let's go in. All right, so here we are at the Hartville Flea Market. I'm gonna do what I normally do, and I'm gonna go in through this way and then go out the door to the outside. Let's do it. So we're at this really nice old lady's booth. She's got a bunch of random stuff, but these monster trucks I was interested in, this is where I got these little ones like this. Probably gonna get this one because the, the decal on the side's really nice on this one. They got cars, cars, there's trades and stuff. Might have to ask my buddy Ben if he wants any of these. That's exactly what he said for me to look for. So I'm gonna try to get these, all these cars the same from last week. So let's see what else we can find. So we're out here, check this out. Guy said I can film everything. Same spot, Hartville Flea Market. The spot 29 every Saturday. You guys gotta come out if you're trying to get you some supers or some really nice stuff. Look at this stuff, man. Look at this. Man, mesmerizing. See that much in one place like that. Got the Auto World stuff, Team Transports. You got the new Team Transports I see, huh? Those are cool. Awesome, man. Awesome. I just found that GT500 Super at, do at Dollar General, man. It's my second one. I know it. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Oh, you got the collector cars, too. Those are awesome. I don't have the BW. Somebody brought it. Yeah. How'd you acquire those? Did you go to the show or? No, I bought them off the first. We're going to go to the next one. Yeah, yeah. Man. With the, with the virus, with COVID, we don't want it. Kind of not worth it, huh? I hear you, man. Well, I'm going to do some looking around. Let's see what I can find here on this guy's table. I'll show you what I buy. So we're at another booth for dollar cars. Gotta pick these up, I know it. That's a nice one right there. Let's see what we can find, you guys. Alright, you guys. You're all gonna be very happy with what I found. Got some tea hunts. I even have a super in my bag. So just wait till I get home. You're gonna love this. And so we are back home. Had another great day out at the flea market today. Really liking going out there, I tell you what. 
now that I've gotten to know a lot of the vendors out there they give me some good deals so let's get right into it first one we have 12 for 10 bucks on these loose cars here it was uh, 6 for 5 so we got 12 first one is a beautiful skyline very clean all this guy's cars like every one of these guys cars um, they're in the case still not the packaging but a case he's got a lot of carrying cases and man they're just in miraculous condition so for a dollar I have no problem buying them next one we have a DeWalt number 17 NASCAR amazing cars probably has this one maybe not this exact one but I'm sure he has that one Next we have an XJ220 Jaguar. I've got a bunch of these castings, so or a bunch of variations of this casting I should say. Like how it says it right there. <clears throat> Up next we have this vehicle. I'm not too familiar with this one, but very clean, nice looking. If anybody knows that one, let me know. Next up, we have a couple Ferraris, because Ferrari has been uh, discontinued when it comes to Hot Wheels. They don't make Ferraris anymore. And this one's awesome. This is the F30 or F355 Challenge. I did a, a video on one of these. Got a lot of views. If I remember right, Offset Hot Wheels asked me to do a review on it, and it got me a lot of views. So I'll do it on that one, too. Next up, Home Depot NASCAR. This is... The one I got confused on last time when I saw the character on the front. This is a little bit different one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, this one's nice. For the action brand. Here's another Ferrari. All these are in great shape. Another 355. Can't pass them up for a buck. Especially 6 for 5, why not? Here's a really nice one. If you guys are interested in seeing any of these individually, just let me know. That one, what does that say? 35 cord? 36 cord? Mm -hmm. Very cool. And so after that one, moving on to one of my favorites actually, even though it's in kind of rough shape. Look at this Heaven Cuda. Definitely nice looking. What a shame, because I mean, this would be a great car if it had that spectra flame paint on it still almost looks like it's got the super treasure hunt paint on it next we have another Ferrari heavy on the Ferraris with this little buy right here looks like it says 365 or 55 GTE very cool and check it out another Ferrari I found the black variation of this car last time I was out there and he had the red one this time. Look at that. I mean, they're minty. Minty. Minty as your toothpaste. And then here is a GTX. I really like this GTX because, well, it's a Plymouth and it's clean. And look at the color. I mean, that's awesome looking. Can't go wrong with the Plymouth GTX. I'll tell you what. And I got the, uh, the Mopar set variation of this. The Fast and Furious variation. So that's awesome. And on to this next one. These were 75 cents or 10 for... Let me see how many I got here. Or 10 for 5. I had to go back over it again. And you get a lot of stuff, it's hard to remember. So first one, we have a Sitgo number 99 NASCAR. Another one that Amazing Cars probably has a variation of. Looks like the back wheel is kind of mashed up there, but... That's okay, because I can fix it. And here we have a Richard Petty car. The king himself. And this is... Racing Champions? 91. Wow, that's a little bit of an older one, huh? Here's another cool one. If we could focus on it, that'd be lovely. Jimmy Means. This one is 1990 Racing Champions. Very cool to find some more vintage stuff. And speaking of vintage, in that bin we found this. This is an old Lesney Matchbox from 1980. 
super fast. Awesome looking stock car type of thing. And here we have a Valvoline number no. six car. The Cummins logo back there, one of my favorite diesels. Duramax is probably my favorite though. I'm a Chevy guy. And here is a really cool looking Majorette vehicle. And to see more Majorettes, so if you're interested, stay around for that. Renault Express. Very cool with the opening back doors. Check that out. Can't go wrong with Majorette. And if you're interested in what's in the thumbnail, the T hunts and things that are all question marked out, stay around till the end as you will see those. And here's another one of my more interesting finds for the day. This is the Pikes Peak Tacoma. And that looks great with the Pikes Peak Celica. Never got this casting for some reason. I don't recall it at all. It's a 90s casting, I think. 1999, so probably 2000 or early 2000s if I had to guess. Very cool. Here we have a Lamborghini. I think this is a Gallardo. Yep. Super Ligera. LP5770-4. I have like two of the orange variations and never found the green one, so now I have that. And here's a cool NAS truck looking vehicle. And this one is... A Chevy 1500, 1996. Very cool. Love that truck. And last but not least in that little lot, here is the 5-pack Subaru. The BMW is in there as well, and a Mustang from a 5-pack. Looks like the windshield is broken inward. Did not notice that, but no big deal. I already have one of these anyway, so... So no big deal on that. I'll take it apart and fix it. Looks like it's been cracked though, so not sure really what I can do with it. But I love to customize it, so that'll be a custom eventually, or I'll just take the rims off of it. So let's move on to a dollar each cars. Here's a Testarossa with the hot ones, or the ultra hots, excuse me. Getty decal right there. Love this car. This is obviously a 90s model. Pretty clean, so I paid a dollar for it. Here's a Tamika. Made in Japan, Toyota towing tractor. You don't see many of these, so when I find them, I buy them. For a dollar, you can't beat it. And here's one of those cool stock cars that everybody informed me about the tire on the other side being bigger is uh, supposed to help it with the racing and stuff like that very cool so that one is very cool moving on we have another majorette this is a bank security vehicle looks like the door might go up in the back but I don't really don't know oh yep it goes up comes back down that's super cool there you go, right there, if you're interested in the bottom. Made in France, that's why I definitely picked those up. They're not too common around here. And here is a Matchbox 57 Chevy. I thought this one was just in such great condition that I, I should pick it up, you know? So I spent a dollar for it, and I got it. Moving on to the five cars for two dollars. These are super cool. So, um, I got a good little bit here. Let's see what I got. These were some obscure ones and really nice ones, so I had no problem paying a little bit extra for them. Um, probably less than 50 cents, I haven't really done the math. But check this out. This is a little bit smaller than 164 scale, but this is an Integra. If I don't drop it on the floor. And this is a Racing Champions. Very cool. Nice car. And another one that is pretty crazy. This is an off brand, or I don't know what brand it is, it doesn't say, but it's a Supra. And I plan on swapping the wheels off of it just because they're a little too small. And I personally wouldn't have red rims on a clean car such as this one, so wheel swap, we'll find something nice for that. Here's a Solaire. I don't have this Solaire, so. 
pretty cool. Here is a really nice GTO with some weird little sticker on the side that I need to take off. Definitely do that soon. Here is a junkyard slash customization candidate. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I might leave it just how it is and wheel swap it. That'd be pretty cool. All sorts of play worn. And here is an AAR Cuda. Love that car. It's got a little bit of wear on it, nothing crazy. Don't have that Cuda, so I figured I'd buy that. Here is a Volkswagen. This one is a... I thought it was a Golf, but it's a Rosilla. I'm not too sure how to say that, but I need to wheel swap this one too because I... I'm not a fan of those different colored tires. Here's an opening hood Camaro. At least that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Here is an opening hood Shelby Cobra. Very nice car. Metal on metal. And here is a Volkswagen Golf. This one I had to buy because I love the Golf. This is the GTI Golf. Alright, so let's go on to the next ones. So at the flea market when people don't sell things, sometimes they just put it all in a big pile in the middle of the walkway to throw it away. So somehow somebody wanted to get rid of this little transformer car. Not big into these, but for free, why not? Same with this vehicle. Not too sure what it was, but it kind of looks like it's a slot car, but I'm not really knowledgeable on those, so it probably isn't, but it's a cool looking car. Again, for free, why not? So, got those. Now let's move on to some really cool stuff. So, you might have saw that I got one of these last week, but the, um, the decal all the way down the side was all messed up. So I went ahead and paid a dollar and got another one. These are pullbacks, and they're from like the early 2000s, 2004. So, why not? It's worth a buck. Uh, same with this big rev up monster truck. The power forward truck. I never had this variation of this rev up truck, so I spent a dollar for this. From, uh, Vietnam veteran gave me this. He's a very nice guy. Um, I forget what his name is. I don't know if I've actually asked what his name is. But every time I've been out there, he's had some really cool stuff. He does custom Hot Wheels and Matchbox. So, I paid the dollar and got that from him. Moving on to some other cool ones. These were three for five. Now, I've got one similar to this, but not exactly the same as this. This is a Bigfoot truck. I don't know if these were actually ever Bigfoot monster trucks because I've never seen these, like, in actual truck form. But what the heck, you know? So there's one. Here's another one. This one's really cool looking. Got the Jurassic Park thing on the front of it. And these are uh, muscle machines. Here's another cool one. You know, Bigfoot being the original monster truck, it's a must have. Here is a Lion X truck. And. Carolina Crusher. This is an old truck. 90's monster truck. Gary Porter was a driver. I don't know if he ever sold the truck or what he did, but he eventually was a driver for, for Gravedigger, which is right here. This is like the original 2000's era, like 2000 to 2001. Um, short wheelbase, metal base monster trucks by Hot Wheels. Super cool to get that also. And then, of course, these little pullbacks. Look how much smaller that is. Cute little guy. But these things zoom. I mean, even on, on carpet. Watch. There it goes. So I picked up those. I'm a big Monster Truck fan, so I had to get those also. I know not everybody's into Monster Trucks, but I am, so... Appreciate if you're sticking around this long for the video. Let's get on to some carded Hot Wheels. So these were all a dollar. Not going to spoil any of the other ones. Here's the first one. Race Truck Series 1 of 4. Look how messed up the number 4 is. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that, but... Pretty cool. It looks like it, because it's got the one on top has the line through it also, but this is a Dodge. Very cool. It was 89 cents. 
wherever that was back in the day. Too bad they're not that price now, but it's a Dodge Ram 1500. A little sticker on the back there too. And this one says 95, so it's probably a 96 release. Real racing look. Very cool. On to the next one, I got a funny car. It says Bonneville on it. Speed Spray Series 4 of 4. You can see it opens up. I don't know if you can hear that. Clanks around off the base. The card's in a little bit of rough shape down there, but again, for a dollar, I mean, what the heck? You know, you pay a dollar for them now, so. It just says Funny Car. Uh, this one says 96, so 96 or 97, something like that. Here's a collector tip. The hard to find 1970 Sky Show fleet side was a Diora with a mini airplane that launched off a red plastic ramp in back. Interesting. I love how these old cards say stuff like that on there. And here is the Power Pistons, one of my favorite fantasy castings. Just really cool looking. Uh, Dark Rider Series 2, 4 of 4. Collector 403. Another collector tip right there. Some more stuff on the back if you're interested. Go ahead and take a look. Probably a 96 release again. And here is a Mustang Cobra. Mustang Hunter, if you're watching this, my man, do you have this one? Because I will send you this one. No problem. Once I find the other one, I'm really lacking. I'm lacking, man. I don't know where it is. It's in my collection, but you know how that goes. You got the organized place. I don't, so... <laughs> If you don't have this, I will send it to you as a random act of kindness, and you can hang it up on your wall. It says 98, probably a 99 car, maybe even 98. Last one is a blue card car. This one's the Auburn 852, which is a very cool car that I have a few loose of. This is definitely an older one. This one says 91, probably 92 or so. Check out the old stuff on the card. Love seeing that. And the old Mattel guy. There he is. <laughs> so, on to the next stuff. Um, these were $2 a piece. And I got 10 bucks worth. And the guy is really cool. He's the same one I got some of the loose stuff off of. He just gave me another one for free. He said, because I'm a nice guy and all that. So, always keep a nice attitude. And people will, will definitely notice that. So, first one we have... Muscle Mania Mopar 12. This one is a 1969 Dodge Coronet Super B. One of my favorite muscle cars. I love the Super B. Definitely a huge Mopar fan. You'll see by this next one. The Plymouth Duster Thruster. Based off the Plymouth Duster. Which is pretty much equivalent to the Dodge Demon, if I am correct. Next one we have is a 67 Camaro with an opening hood, which is, there it goes, very cool. Here is a 1995 model series, 10 of 12, this is a Ferrari 355, check that out, that's probably 90s also, 94, something like that, more card work if you're interested. Here is a passing gasser. Trying to get all the passing gassers, they're very cool. There was a treasure hunt or a super treasure hunt for 25 bucks I almost bought today. Might have to go back out and get it next week, but it's Memorial Day weekend next weekend. It's probably gonna be absolute insanity, so. And here's the car I got for free. The 1970 Buick GSX. Nice blue and yellow. A nice combination. And then I found this laying on the ground. Someone bought it, peeled it open. They didn't peel and win though. But this being 2001, 20 years later, you could still win that prize. Not likely, but it was a Willie's Coop, it says. And uh, let's peel it just for the heck. Let's see if it's a code or something. I've never really done this because I've never opened a 2001 car. So do we win? Okay, we got a code. What does it say? Okay, you can barely read it, but uh, a bunch of letters and numbers. So, you guys let me know if you enter that and you win big, you can thank me. <laughs> I'm just going to cut the Hot Wheels logo off of it and have that 
So let's put that aside and let's look at the main stuff that I got today. And so before we get on to the really good stuff that I got today, go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed this video so far. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I'd really appreciate it. You can join the Northeast Ohio Diecast and Treasures family. We're growing pretty rapidly now. And now we go on to the good stuff here. So I gotta give a huge shout out to Dan. I'm pretty sure that was your name. If I forgot, I'm really sorry, man. I've got your card in my wallet. I don't know why I didn't just put it out here. So I went ahead and blocked his phone number out out of respect so nobody prank calls him or anything funny. But this is where I got this from. Great guy. He uh, had a lot of stuff out. You saw it in this video. He let me film his super treasure hunts and things. This is his card. So let's see what I got from him. He did a really good deal for me. So these treasure hunts that he had, he actually went back to his van. He had more boxes of uh, tea hunts and things such as that. I got all of these. These would have been $4 a piece. So we got four, eight, 12, 16, 20 dollars worth. And uh, he did me a good deal, 17 bucks. They were mine. So let's go over each one here. The first one, I'm gonna start right here. This was one I never found for some reason, the Baja Bone Shaker. And what's super cool is these are all in Protecto Pack. So I'm gonna take one of them out of the Protecto Pack and put my my super that I just found the other day in into the Protecto Pack. So here's the first one. This one was the A-Case T-Hunt. This one I never found. My buddy Josh found like two of them at one time because he's lucky. And he's a Chevy guy, so that's probably why they jumped out to him. Chevy Silverado Treasure Hunt. Super cool. This one was from a while ago, I think. Not sure if that's P-Case, if that's what that's supposed to say. This was like last year, though, I think. I might be wrong. Here is one of the newer ones. The Mustang Funny Car. I saw... Joe over at XLT Off-Road Bear found this. Got it for a friend, I believe, or for his giveaway. I forget which one he said it was for. And that is the H-Case T-Hunt. Now all I need to find is the H-Case Super, and I'll be very happy. And here we have the 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition. With a little bit of a crack in the Protecto Pack, but as long as the uh, T-Hunt itself is okay, I'm alright with it. That was HK's probably last year. <clears throat> and last but not least, we have the Power Pistons. Last of the treasure hunts, that is. Power Pistons, very cool. This one was J Case. I do not believe this must this must have been last year's. <clears throat> if I'm reading that off wrong, I apologize for that. But I saw that Hot Wheels TV put out a thing that um, this is branded in Indonesia sometimes. This particular one is Malaysia. So the one he had was like an error, which was super cool. Speaking of super, here we are. This was the deal of the day. Very cool. The Mazda RX-3 super. I don't know. Yep, there it is. You can see it down there. You can see the rubber tread on the tires. This is the only super treasure hunt that I've ever actually purchased. And he did me a great deal. 25 bucks for this thing. He did the research on his phone. And I guess it was, wasn't was worth too much. I didn't really know how much it was worth. But uh, hopefully I got a good deal. And hopefully he did too. This is the F-Case Super Treasure Hunt. So there you have it you guys. If you enjoyed this. Like I said please leave a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel. Please do so. Because you can definitely. Definitely see a lot more great content to come in the future. So. Would love for you to be part of the community. This is such a great community. I love it. This has really changed my life being part of this for the better. So uh, tomorrow we're going to try to go out to another diecast show and see what we can find there. So stay tuned for that. Stay safe, everybody. Keep on collecting that awesome diecast. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out of here. Got some early morning quackers. <laughs>